Okay, we're back. So, hello and welcome. We're going to be con- No, hold on. Getting my uh, words mixed up here. We're going to be starting another Warhammer 2 campaign today. Now, I was meaning to start this yesterday, however my internet decided to throw wobbly and uh, dropped out. So, I'm just going to act as if that never happened. <laughs> Though, me saying this. Um, means that, you know, I'm admitting that it happened. And we're just going to start it again. So, yeah, um, essentially, this is going to be a Torx of Brass Bull campaign um, with the Beastmen. And this is going to be showcasing, it's kind of a bunch of mods. Um, key among them are Expanded Roster Beastmen, which adds a few extra units to the Beastmen, like a Wargore and... Uh, Things like Gores, which are themed after each of the Chaos Gods. You know, Pesty Gores, Corn Gores, Sun Gores, and Slang Gores. Um, also, we've got the mod Sam's Gorgon, which adds a nice Gorgon with a model in the game for it, which is pretty cool. Um, and we've also got another mod called The Nature of the Beast, a Beastman rework, which modifies how the Beastman's... Uh, Grey herd mechanic works. Makes it a bit more interesting in that regard. I think it gives them a bunch of bonuses. Hmm. Was there anything else? Oh yes, I also have a mod which adds a Jabba Slythe for the Beastmen as well. Because, hey, that's pretty fun. So let's get this all started up now. I tried to spend less time waffling on about things and more time actually playing the campaign. I do tend to go over things a bit too much, maybe. I like being thorough. And it's also for my benefit, so I know what I'm working with. Okay, MTC settings, mod configuration tools been updated. You can now change various things about mods which are compatible with it. Whether there's heroes or wards available for them. We can change how the Bray Herd mechanic works in uh, the Beastman mod. Uh, enables Frenzy when in high bestial rage. Uh, we're going to keep that off because it's default off. High bestial rage threshold is 80. Low cap is minus 30. Neutral blood lust 50. High cap is 40. Let's go. Also Empire's I'm campaign. Serious. And we'll play as Torx the Brass Bull, which is actually added by Mixu's Legendary Lords. If you want to play as him yourself, along with uh, Goris Warhoof, I think, which is, might be part of Mixu's Legendary Lords 2. Because there's two packs for that. Um, but if you want to play a Centigore themed army, he's pretty much <laughs> the Beastman Lord to go. To, go. But we're going to be playing with Torox. Because we get Minotaurs, and we get to crush everything under the mighty hooves of our great herds. Under a scarlet moon, Torx was reborn. He rose up and bellowed his defiance, blood cascading from his now brazen frame. While well, the gods had rewarded his fell deeds with a body of shining metal, no more would he tire, no more would he have a moment's respite from the rage that consumed him. Flashing his rune-scribed axes together in savage pride, Torox set off once more and began to slaughter anew. This time he did not stop, and the Brass Bull will not stop until he is somehow put in the grave once and for all. I think we start up in Ostland, with an um, Empire Army nearby to stomp on, and we'll do that pretty quickly from the get-go. It'll give us some extra resources to work with. Or growth, because we're going to be wanting to get growth for our war herds. Or our war herd. Torox himself as a lord ends up becoming quite the steamroller, because he ends up, I think, being able to get perfect vigor. Along with... Yeah, magical flaming attacks, more armor piercing, rampage, with damage resistance, melee defense. 
doesn't actually have a lot of ward save on his own. You'd expect him to have really high ward save, but he gets 10% uh, damage resistance from that. Doesn't have any armor. Yeah, he's got high armor. I mean, he doesn't have any magic armor is what I mean. He's got high armor, 140. What do these minotaurs have? 45. So, yeah. Uh, for our herds, we can see the extra units around here. Uh, we've got some Bestigore herds here with two axes. Gore herds with great weapons. Over here, we've got the War Gore, a hero. We've got Tuscore chariots. Uh, the Gorgon is all the way up here. It's an anti large, which regenerates its health while it's in melee and also has frozen vigor while it's in melee. We have the Jabba Scythe up here, which is a flying poisoned attack unit, which, as it gets hurt, sprays acid around itself, causes madness, lowering leadership and melee defense to enemies nearby. Its vanguard deploy causes terror and also has a slithy tongue, which is apparently like a one target magic missile. We've also got these four trees here, which are added from expanded rosters. Uh, which allows you to get the corn gores, sun gores, pesty gores, and slime gores, along with bonuses with them. Extra melee attack and income from raiding, magical attacks for the entire army, and minus 20% to enemy hero action success chance. Enable poison attacks for the army and casualty replenishment rate for Nurgle and for Slanesh. Plus 20% 20 speed and income from raids, raising settlements by 20%. There's also some other changes. I think the desecrated altar here has lost its um, reduction to gr horde growth. I can't remember which. I don't know exactly which mod that's from. Anyway, let's go do this battle <laughs> again for me. We didn't ambush them, but oh well. This is a pretty simple battle. We'll flank around, get their pistoliers and immortals with our harpies and our banticore. Run down the center with our gores and minotaurs and torox and flank also with our uh, ungores. Okay. You can go over there. You can go there. And again, you can go over here. I'm doing pretty much exactly the same which I did last time. Last night when I played this. Okay. We'll just march up. Let's have a look at... Torox. I suppose we could do that when he's in melee. He looks pretty cool. I didn't notice the last time, but his armor is actually kind of... ...coppery looking, actually. Brass, I suppose? Bronze, really. Yeah. I like it, though. He's got, like, a metallic sheen to his skin. It's appropriate. And those horns. He looks really mean. Okay. Go over here. Go over there. You go there. We're gonna march you to there. And we'll just charge you up the center. Try not to get shot to pieces by the mortars and failing. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Try to avoid some of their fire. Harpies. Okay, I want you to attack that mortar. And you. And I want you to get those pistolets. And charge in. Smash. Oh. 
You dropped your banner. Okay. Come down here. I want you over here. Raiders. Oh, there's going to be blood, all right. Okay. Shoot them. Harpies. Ugh. Need to be faster. Get them. Have they all broken? It kind of looks like a lot of them are broken. Turn around. Uh, I want you to shoot them. Did you really just stop chasing them? Come back here. Oh, you chased the uh, pistoliers off the map? Nice. Oh, no, you didn't. Okay, go shoot them. Shouldn't take too many shots for them to s shatter. Roar! Oh, they're terrified. Angles chase the crossbows. There we go. Okay. Victory. And we're just in battle. Not gonna bother chasing them all down. They are wavering, <laughs> are we? <laughs> Maybe the harpies. I don't know if they call those things related to anything what's happening during the battle, whether they're just sound bites which play off. Also welcome. I don't think they're related to anything. I think it's some of the uh, some of the other Total War games. What they say is actually related to. What's going on? Maybe they say it when the morale gets low, but morale sort of goes up and down pretty quickly. Get a war banner. Last time we got like a hunting spear. I'll put that banner on them. And what should we do? Sacrifice the captives, kill them, or devour the captives? Let's devour them. Dum dum dum. We're growing beastmen. Okay, got a point. Let's put it in gargantuan hooves so that we've got a bit more movement range. Uh, we're going to be wanting to attack Norden. Okay, let me have a look at our stances here. Ah, we can go into hidden encampment with no campaign movement range. It's pretty nice. Go up here. Encamp. And let's get Ungors. Pretty much all that we're going to be doing at the moment. It's probably related in some way. Yeah, probably. I, I guess it would be. 
You hear it so often though, it sometimes it feels like it's just they just say it whenever. And we've got our research. Um we don't have enough to spend on this yet. Let's get something which improves. Hmm. Speed, weapon strength for minotaurs, raiding, money. Money would be good. And replenishment rate. So we're going to go for this. Fresh blood, grounds, the endless hunt, and then fell rituals. Okay, enter. Did I ever play SFO Beastmen? Uh, no. I haven't played with FF SFO at all, actually. So, I probably should have a look at that mod at some point. Oh, they discovered my warhead! No! I understand it does change things up quite a bit for them. We're playing with quite a few- with a few mods for Beastmen here, so. Uh, they'll become more apparent once we get our bestial rage higher. Um... Sure, just go and attack Norden. And it's pathetically weak. We'll just auto-resolve that. And we'll raise and defile. 100 chaos corruption in the local region for one turn and horde growth plus 8. Bye. And we'll encamp again. And what will we get? Upkeep reduction? Would be nice. And ruination would be... Kind of want to get lightning strike. Because it's so useful against multiple armies. And we're going to be making enemies. So... really tried to rework them and I could try the resettlement cooldown mod. Resettling is going to be, yeah, like this. The AI is like, oh look, there's an empty settlement. Uh, let's go and, um, let's go and grab it. Hmm. How do we deal with this? Hmm. A lot of dudes. Sure. This might be a really short campaign. I was I wasn't exactly expecting that. But yeah, the AI is very recolonizing happy. Okay. Send Torox against Theoderic. We put you in here. Harpies. You can go over there. Go there. Minotaurs there. Torox there. You can go here. Okay. Yes, what he said. Okay. So we'll move over here. Try to draw them to our forces because they can't see most of them. Oh, they're not actually going to attack because we're attacking them, aren't we? Okay, well, move over to here. Also, if people joined last time, yesterday, uh, yeah, my internet dropped out. So we're essentially just restarting the campaign. Because pretty much nothing was made, no progress was made anyway. Okay, let's do this. Do this. And what am I going to do with you harpies? Uh, 
Nope. I selected the wrong thing. Okay, get over here. I want you like that. Would you like that? Hey, I want you attacking Theoderic. Yeah, just chase those Empire Knights. <laughs> Imagine getting a voice acting job and then finding out there's Beastmen. You want me to say what? Thoggle dog. I think it would be quite fun. It's just like guttural roarings and... And all that. Okay. Come on. No. Get him. Pun. He got hit by the minnow bus. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Come on, line yourself up. <laughs> oh. That's gonna hurt even more because it's Torox. Because I'd imagine he's as un like ungiving as brass. So there we go. He's dead. Uh, no, Ungors attack them. You attack them. Good. good. Quirlock. Splat. You just punt his head off without really doing anything? Oh. Okay, get them over there. Come back over here. I thought there were some of my dudes, but they weren't. Now Minotaur's actually there, yeah, they've got Berserk. It's a bonus which Torox gives them. So they get melee attack, physical resistance and rampage eventually. Oof. That's nasty on the uh, Norsken Berserkers. I want to think how it is on the Minotaurs. Splat. Okay, well, that's them dealt with. Hey, the Harpies actually did pretty good against those uh, Empire Knights. I'm surprised. I suppose they just kept them running around the whole time? Harpies kind of suck. Look at that banner. Oh, it's so neat. What's he got on it? Empire Knight. Well, oh. this is another mod, which I which I have. It's a really nice one. It adds banners to units. Not every not every army or every unit, not not every faction is implemented yet. But I think the Empire Dwarves, High Elves, um. can't remember the other ones. Green skins. And it won't be every unit. If you're playing with modded units, it won't um, be for them. But it's really nice regardless. Just having the little banners around. <laughs> We're so vicious, even the sky is bleeding. Okay, there we go. Close victory. 203 kills. 57. 112 for the gore herd. They did pretty good. 
But still, that was more losses. We just fought a battle. Gonna have another army coming up to try and take over the settlement again. Uh. Okay, let's devour the captives again. <laughs> Splat, dead. <laughs> we get Peacekeeper, sure. This is my land, not yours. Public order, plus two for every concurrent war with neighboring faction. And charge bonus, plus ten. That's nice. Okay, let's go back up into the forest. I'm gonna go up here. And we'll just uh, sit over here. Get blessed by evil level two. And we'll continue recruiting... Gauls. The Ungauls. There we go. Oh, okay. Hochland. That's, um... Oh, jeez, I forget his name. The Empire. Aldenbrand. Yeah. The nation calls. Well... I mean, if we wait for him to take Nordland, he's go his army's going to be... further weakened. So we'll just end turn again. Because I'll have to spend a turn or two recovering their losses. I see, no problem here. I'm just going to take this. Won't Erengrad? Ooh. The ruinous powers take grim pleasure in your endeavors. In their dark birth, they grant a boon. Which of their gifts will you choose? We get a go you either get to choose a Gorbul or a Bray Shaman. Bray Shamans are pretty good as spellcasters. However, a Gorbul is very thematic. I'm going to go with a Gorbul. Okay, let's get rid of you. And what's his name? Arbo Ruin Maker. Very nice. By the comet. Okay. Hello, we were here the whole time. Surprise! Now you die. Raise and defile. Ward save 10% during forest battles. Leadership plus 4 during forest battles. I'm going to get on you. Let's see. Do I want armor and missile resistance or do I want charge bonus immediate attack? We get multiple war go we can get multiple uh gorbals as well. To increase the bonus. Can we go up a level yet? No. That's Isn't that used to give me more growth? raising a settlement eh. oh well I seem to remember it used to give you like I don't know or just more growth so that you can pretty much get a point of growth immediately that turn oh well not that it matters we've gone up a level anyway uh, upgrade I suppose we'll go over here. And we'll upgrade to a hag tree cops. Be able to get a pit hovel. Well, once we get another point. Yeah, we've only got one growth. And one turn until full moon. I've got basically nothing there. We could just raise souls of wound. There's no real goal for this campaign. It's pretty much just 
I don't know, cause havoc amongst the Empire. No. What's this? More sleep has ascended, usurping the sun's revered place in the firmament. The world is awash with its sick and terrible hue. Such an event is almost unheard of. It is a call to the beastmen, a sign that the herd has an opportunity to dominate. Lead them, beast lord. Seize glory. Uh, we get four choices, which each come as a negative. Uh, we can replenish all of our damaged units, but we lose minus 20 horde growth for two turns. Ruinous incentive. We get bestial rage plus 10 for all armies for three turns. But we get plus 33% upkeep for all units. Quite nasty, considering we have really no economy to, um, no economy to speak of. Though eventually we'll have so much money that it will be a minor issue. Uh, no matter how far, we can move further, but we're tired during battle. Or we can reduce our campaign movement range by 50% and we can get more weapon strength and melee attack. Plus 50 melee attack. Can we reach Salzamund with this? Let's do that. Let's go and attack Salzamund. Hey there, how's it going? So, melee attack 82. I mean, that means that our attacks are going to be landing. More often. 101 melee attack. 117. Hmm, are they going to have another army nearby? Don't have... Okay. We're just going to attack. This is another reason why I'm going into the blue tree. Because if we get the, uh skill which reduces the amount of turns it takes to siege um then it means that we build siege equipment faster i feel like i keep mentioning that but i think it's something which gets overlooked it's i just find i i'm pretty sure that's how it works and it's just really odd to me the lower the number of turns you see you um it takes for you to siege a settlement until they start starving, the faster you build the siege equipment. There's... Um... Do we charge up through the center there, or do we try and charge over the walls? Let's do this. Choices, choices. Oh, and all our raiders. Okay, and you attack the gate. Okay, I want you to attack those archers. I want you to attack these crossbows and you to attack those crossbows. Attacking my goal. Bah. Come on, get in there. I want that gate down. Are things all right up in the walls? Maybe. I can hear roaring. I'm waiting for someone to get tossed over the edge. Okay. Position yourselves here. Oh wow. You've actually chased them all off the walls. How about that? Charge on through. Also, because we've got no ladders on the walls, we're all going to go through the gates. Very nice. Get him! My sunburn. Brethren. 
They've just been on holidays in, like, Lustria. Keep charging. Okay, you lot, get in here. Just go crazy. Go ham. We don't have any razor calls, so that doesn't work. Hey, there's guys over there. They're just standing around. <laughs> Splat. Hey, okay, Minotaurs, charge up there. Charge up there. You two come back here. I need you with your leadership. Your uh, ability to stop people from running is quite useful. Okay, we become a s separate group. And I want you to attack Lucas there. Lucas Schmidt. Splat. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Underneath all that harpy. Why'd you stop? Fine. Go deal with them then. Roll on through to the next group. Enemy Lord is dead. Long live the enemy Lord. Okay. That's fine. Decisive victory. 109 kills, 128 kills for Torox. 84 kills for the uh Gorbul. Very nice. And we only lost 250. Okay, uh, that's not really enough to loot and raise it. At the moment, we still need growth, so we're going to uh, get the growth from it. Raise multiple sediments. Nice. The spoiler. Camp. But out of these two, I think I'm going to use this. Get this one because the uh, evasion chance is nice. Just to be able to get away if I need to and get ruination I said we want to reduce the uh, time it takes for us to siege enemy settlements and uh, yeah okay after that I think we'll move up to Dieter Schaffen I don't know maybe go down attack Aaron, uh, attack, uh, Mar Marienburg, is it? Yeah. Or they could just colonize Salzenmund again. Because, you know, we're not there. Okay. We get fresh blood grounds. Ritual challenge. No. Oh. Horde growth reduction. Great.
Uh, do we have our bonuses? Yes, here we go. So this is what the uh, nature of the beast uh, mod does. It gives you bonuses when your uh, bestial rage is really high. So here we go. The nature of the beast. Woe to you, O earth and the sea and sea, for the devil sends the beast with wrath because he knows the time is short. Let him who hath understanding reckon the number of the beast. <laughs> okay, for it is human number, its number is six hundred and sixty six. Not really relevant to the beastman, I don't think, but yeah. Best your rage minus ten. Upkeep minus forty percent for all units and heroes embedded. Campaign movement range, plus 40%. Melee defense is minus 9. Missile damage, plus 20% for missile unit... Missile infantry units. Casualty replenishment rate, plus 39. Melee damage, plus 20% for infantry units. Lead ship, plus 20. Melee attack, plus 21 for infantry units. And charge bonus, plus 20. Very nice. Particularly the uh, upkeep reduction. Though you do lose it quite quickly. Uh, but with that minus 10 bestial rage I think you can get a little bit of it a little bit of bestial rage per turn from an ability maybe or am I thinking of the green skins might be thinking of the green skins they can end up with their lords getting some like one or two points of wire every turn don't know if the beastmen get that no it doesn't look like it we do get one turn of Bestial Rage from having Torox, but yeah, that just makes it minus nine. Also minus one for animosity and uh, minus one for encampment. What's animosity called by? We lose it because we're in an encampment. I suppose animosity is just natural reduction. Yep, yeah. okay. Go raise Salzamund again. We were just here. Hello again. Raise and defile. Settlement destruction we get five and battle one we get one. So that does offset the loss a little bit. Fast unending herd. We can get plus one capacity for gorbals. Can't recruit them just yet. Uh, how quickly am I going to want to get Lightning Strike? Four bulls are up there at level four. Pretty quickly. Get that. And we'll get on our Gorbul. The Unrelenting Herd. War Herd, uh, level three. Plus 16 melee attack. Or units around our gorble. Okay, good. And turn. Is another army going to try and uh, recolonize Salzamund? Middenheim, perhaps? We can't stay around. We can't sit around, you know, constantly playing whack a mole with the uh, with the empire. I'm not looking to like raise the empire completely. Oh, hey, there's a beastman. Ungrol Stoneheart. We counter Reichland. And for some reason we can see Hagrief. So you are not well. Can we not actually We met the other beastmen, but um, I can't Okay. I can't open uh Torks with them. The nation There's Karl Franz. Luther Huss. Empire Foot. He's gonna colonize Salzamund, is he? The Empire. Um. Eh, whatever. We can do so. Let's just go up this way. I mean, we could just go and squish him next, because he's going to take that. He's going to be weakened. You like how they march across their provinces? Oh, we actually took it and gave it back to, uh, Nordland. Okay. <laughs> I 
Hey, Beastman. Now oh, we can't open relations with you. You can see here he's got low bestial rage. So comes with a bunch of penalties. Less campaign movement, less missile damage, casualty replenishment, melee damage, minus five leadership, minus six melee attack, and minus five charge bonus. Yeah. By Sigma, no. By the comet. By Sigma, no. By Sigma, yes. Okay, go and attack Dieter Schaffen. Because it wasn't just recolonized. Raise and defile. We get Berserker Sword. And you can get. Yeah, the Unrelenting War Herd too. Constant around yourself. Plus 36% charge bonus and plus 16 melee attack. And you can get Lightning Strike. And on you, we're going to get Ungor Herds. Without the spears. And we gain Ambusher. Nice. Car France is certainly very busy. Oh, hey, here comes the uh, Norse guns. Oh, you could open relations with us. Be peace, Lord. Speak words. Defensive alliance. Mm, this will lower our bestial rage for a few turns, but uh, you're not willing to join a confederation. A military alliance would be good, though. Sure. We can destroy the empire together. But yeah. We get a penalty to our bestial rage with that. We can raise Solzamund again. Um, I'm going to go here. And... I can't go into hidden encampment when we're near our ally here. No. Not while we're inside of another army. Over here? Yeah, but I think we'd be out of range of both of their armies then. Speak. I will hear you. What's her army like? Swordsman, crossbows. I am Prince and Emperor. Fine. It's going to come anyway. Court, yet here you are. Guess what, Karl Franz? By Sigma, no. How's it going? Torox is back and he's angry. It's not actually different. I think he's pretty much always angry. Angrier. Beastman. Okay, we're going to split you up into two groups. One of you there, one of you over here. In the middle is going to be you lot. Uh, back a little bit. These raiders are going to be... Over there. You there. You there. You there. The harpies over here. Along with the manticore. You lot in one group. You lot in another group. You in another group. You in a group. And you in a group. Okay, so you flying guys are going to be dealing with the Reichsguard. My other beastmen are going to go around the flanks. And raiders are just going to be going up there. Hello, welcome DG. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, you just saw something. Oh. You seem to be quite excited about something. Oh, 
You often see people stream 4x3 stretched to 60x9, which triggers your OCD badly, right? I don't- I tend to say I don't care much about, uh, resolution, personally. However, I do know not- I do know enough not to really do that. If something's in 4x3, I'm going to stream it in 4x3. I'm not going to change the resolution to be some kind of faux for faux 16x9. That just... The game's not going to look like how it's supposed to look. <laughs> you just saw someone play 16x9 squished to 4x3. Oh, dear. <laughs> when they do we get to have a laugh I hope so <laughs> go down here attack them hey you got rid of the ranks guard well done they're actually terrified. Okay. Punt. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it was going to be an epic shot, and then you've got this ungore just <laughs> photo bombing in the in the front of it. Oh well. There we go. Ah. Oh. These Empire Knights look nice. Their armor is really shiny. Yeah, it's a nice model work on them. I think it's just the uh, Reichsguard Knights armor. Let me have a look at them. But uh, they're a foot unit? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so it's just a foot unit. Oh well, they still look neat. Even if I'm... Hmm. I don't know. Okay, chase after them. Go there. Uh, Minotaurs, go there. Oh, hey. You're standing around doing nothing. Go over there. How are you so injured? Empire foot? Eh, Imperial foot? Oh, it's Karl Franz. Is he being beating on you? Hello, Hunt. Ooh. Ow! He just took an entire volley of arrows and is unfazed by it. Torox rolls past him. Pod. Is he dead yet? Ooh. Yeah, he's dead. There we go. Or unconscious. Okay. Get him! Roll after them. And you can all come back and chase after these guys. Go after them there. And those dudes. You also found a mod for Torox 2015, the remaster, which disables enemy respawn. It's what made you quit the game after three hours, so you're going to give it another try with that mod. Did the original game not have an enemy respawn? Hmm. Interesting they wouldn't add an option to, uh, turn that off in the game itself. I can't remember. I think... I remember watching someone play through Torox. One? Is that one? And thinking that the remaster was generally pretty good, but I think the first Torok just kind of suffers a bit from rather obtuse level design. I think Torok 2 is generally considered quite a bit better. With you be out and backtracking, the respawns are really annoying. Okay, that makes sense. Maybe that was why it was added because of the backtracking but yeah if the like the levels aren't designed for backtracking with respawning enemies you're not gonna have enough ammunition 
Honestly, ammunition respawns as well. I never actually played the Torok Turok games. No, I didn't. Listen to the music for them. The uh, or the Game Boy Color um music for Torok. The uh, Game Boy game. That's really good. Okay, what do I want? Sacrifice? Eh, devour them. Dum dum dum. Defeated Karl Franz. He causes terror when fighting the Empire. That's fine. He causes fear at the moment. Um, Let's get the leadership bonus. And we'll encamp again. I wish I could encamp next to my ally here. Or within their aura of area of control. You are sieging the settlement. Will we be dragged into that if we uh, sit there? I'd like to help you if possible. Um, okay, you're just sieging it for another turn. I've got like no garrison. Oh, hello. You're attacking me? No, you demand a gift. Aversion is minus 100. <clears throat> you hate us and you want a gift. <laughs> um, that's not going to stop you from declaring war on me, so no. Okay, we're just all to resolve that. Devour the captives. Yay, souls and wounds being raised again. Uh, what's this? Got the uh, remake of Turok a year or so ago during Steam sales. You did enjoy the gameplay. Just a respawning put you off enemy back in two to three minutes. One timer. Yeah, I don't. Hmm. Respawning enemies in first person shooters. I don't play on the hardest difficulty of Doom for that reason. Okay, we'll get Ruination, and... Impossible. Go raise Deja Shuffen. They're just going to keep coming back and recolonizing Souls and Wound. It's basically no one there. Let's go do it again. Auto resolve. Oh, we lost our gore herd. Ah, yeah, well. Yes, run away. I need get to see how many stupid, how many kills that guy got. Well, we got a gift of chaos. The gifts of chaos are many and varied, each bestowing a twisted boon or warped blessing from the ruinous ones in return for the recipient's service. He gets passive ability slug skin, which uh, gives poisoned attacks for the assigned unit. We also get a Regiment of Renown, Destroyers of the Dracula. And Confident Attacker, and Bond, and Slaughterer. All the bonuses. Um, and we can get uh, the Brass Bull. Sure, let's get that. The Brass Bull will not stop until he is somewhere put in the gra grave once and for all. What have we got? What are these guys' specialty? Over the normal ones. Uh, oh, they have poisoned attacks. Okay, yeah, fine, whatever. And we get two more ungor herds. Uh, that's fine. You can see the color of this war herd here. They're like an orangey color. Um, no. Okay, that's fine. Then turn. Uh, 
rather than having lots of enemies to kill at once, like in Serious Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it's kind of because, like, the game's balanced around it. Like, Serious Sam, you're given a lot of ammunition before those battles. I don't know m enough about the Turok remake to know whether they would have given more ammunition if the enemies respawned. Um, but if it was being a pain, then my guessing is that they didn't. Or not enough. Because it kind of changes a lot of the dynamics in the game. At least in my mind. Okay, where were we going? Um, there's a black pit over there. Are they going to be getting kind of friendly with us? <laughs> Version minus 40. Okay, well, we can't sit around up here all the time. Um, let's go, go too close to the Wood Elves. Wreckers Point, that's owned by the Amir. Then there's Arnau and Gorsal there. Hmm. Go around to Wolfenberg. Castle von Rolkland's been wrecked. Of course, because... No, wait, we didn't destroy their other army early on. Uh, sure. Let's go along up this way. Sitting around in the regions we've raised is good because the chaos corruption means we get more replenishment. Don't think I can actually look at that. Because the little pop up which appears for the uh, replenishment is tied to the settlements like down there but we don't own any provinces so we can't actually look at that okay in turn Clan Creepus declares war on Ostland and Ostermark, and Middleland declares war on the Redhorn tribe, our allies. Sure. Is left declares war on the Bone Rattlers. There's also Vicious Gobspit here. Oh, hey, and there's some Beastmen. Uh, there's a Chaos Army appears. Oh, and they declare war on. Your bloody rampagers now, Beastmen. Yeah, sure. What's this? One of your brave shamans, one of some renown, renown, wishes to leave the herd and make a journey to the heart of the dark. Do you wish to allow this pilgrimage? Uh, Chaos Corruption plus two, or Winter Magic plus ten. Well, we don't have any spellcasters, so it doesn't mean much. You gotta raise Wrecker's Point. Just gotta let them do that. Um... And we attack Laurelon Forest. They've got a big garrison. My armies are probably not strong enough to be able to deal with that. Let's uh, keep moving down this way. Arnau's been raised as well. Okay. Looks like Gorsal's owned by Marienburg. Yeah. Um... Population surplus one. Two more turns until we get another point. Okay. In turn. Wolfric the world. Wolfric the wanderer. What do you want? Defensive alliance. Eh, <sighs> fine, whatever. Boris Borker. We kill you, take treasures. Who declare war? No surprise. This is life of the beastmen. 
having all factions declare war on you and then hopefully uh surviving all the armies chasing you all over the place uh the moon is suffused it was a di deep dark crimson a sign of the rage of the ruinous powers uh, the call for the beastmen to see this rage manifested it is you beast lord who must channel this hatred and direct it upon our enemies uh recruitment rank campaign reduction campaign movement range casualty replenishment rate I kind of want to get to the second level of our encampment, but no matter how far. We're favoured by corn. Gorbul, I'm going to get on you. Best of the beast. Who's attacking the black pit? Oh, hello, Boris. If this is bad news, I'll poke out your eyes. Um. Absolutely not. I mean, still isn't fully recovered. Let's go down here. Okay, we'll go to here. And in camp. There we go. And turn. And I think we'll attack Gorsal and then maybe Marion after. Or maybe go up through Middenheim again. Depends on what the Empire is doing over here. Red Venom faction is destroyed. They take over the Black Pit? They did. And we get the Endless Hunt. More casualty replenishment. What have you got? The White Cloak of Ulrich. Hmm. We could go all the way over to Wiesmund. However, you probably could also go all the way over there. I'd be vulnerable after we're attacking it. Okay. Go and attack Corsal. And I am going to give Slug Skin to. At it, does it? Let's give it to our Minotaurs. They've got more attacks than one of our lords. And. Chip banner to. Well, I suppose. Go. Um. I just sort of resolve that. Okay, what can we get here? Charge bonus increase, speed increase, vigor loss reduction. Upkeep reduction for units which we don't have. Extra income from post battle loot. Income from raising settlements and campaign move rates. Blood of surprise. Get those two. And end turn. And then we'll grow our horde again next turn. Oh, hello. Yeah, sure. Bye. Dom. Peace negotiated. Ostland in the service of Fibbleneed. Oh, Redhorn tribe is destroyed. Well, no. uh, what am I going to do? Go over here. 
on camp. Get best of the beast level two. And we'll upgrade to a squalid encampment. Then after that. Getting more horde growth. And I suppose we'll get up to that. If we can get up to the uh, fire pit. Good. Instead of just camping around raising sediments so that you can get your uh, growth up enough to be able to or your uh, sediment your, your herd level up high enough to be able to recruit better units. You really have to make use of the ones you start off with otherwise you're just going to be reduced to like ungors and raiders. I can't imagine it would be easy to get past that. Not possible. You're reduced to that. Okay, and we can get reading human settlements come from raising settlements. Eh, blood is a prize level two. Campaign movement rate. Unworkable. Okay. Uh yeah, let's go attack you. Hello. Oh, we don't get an ambush off? Oh well. 50-50? I beg your pardon. I'm pretty sure we do have the normal stance like the Skaven do, where if we attack we have a chance of getting, a ra getting an ambush battle off. You just have to build up your ambush success chance. Okay. Pop up here. You can go over here. You go there. Torox and Gorble. You go there. Go there. Okay, there we go. Charge up. Once again, I know, my tactics astound. Hey look, we're doing some, uh, encircling. And we'll put our archers up on the hillside so that we can shoot across their lines. That way we'll be hitting them in the sides. Rather than shooting them uh, straight on where their shields are going to uh, block the attacks. No, don't, don't attack them, there's Hellbirds right there. No. Okay, attack those Hellbirds. I want you to attack those crossbows. Attack the crossbows as well. Position yourselves like this. You can attack the wall. Okay, move over here. You two move there. Keep charging them. Go over there. And there's a group of them which haven't broken. Actually. Oh, hey, look, they've got a uh, woodsman. Yeah, they can just pass through trees. Do we all have woodsmen? I think we do. Nice. It makes sense. But it's just nice my, our units aren't inhibited by the trees. They just go straight through them. I suppose the minotaurs are just knocking the trees over.
Okay. Yep. Shoot, loot. Since when do you have fireballs? Did you get a ruby ring of ruin at some point? <laughs> Jar, chuck a fireball at him. Oof. There we go. <laughs> Maybe he is actually like a brass ball. <laughs> it's horrible, but... He's really hot inside. Actually, it's got to be terrible. He'd be like... Brass is like a great conductor of heat. I would... He's a, his weapons have got flaming attacks. I wouldn't be surprised. It would be interesting, actually, if Torox had an ability where the longer he was in combat, the more he overheated, and then he just started, like, setting things on fire near to him because they got so hot. <laughs> And it falls at one with the Drakwal. Yeah, well. I do like the change. So that your units don't get caught up on the forests if they're good within forests. And we've got the potion of foolhardiness. Do you have a ruby ring? Yeah, you do. Okay. Oh, and he's got a dawnstone as well. 15% physical resistance. Like it? And a Berserk Sword. Oh, you can keep that. Um, I'm going to give the Potion of Foolhardiness to, uh, you, Amu. I feel like calling him Amu. Um, you can get Gorge Tusks. 15 extra weapon armor piercing. Do you need that? You've already got so much armor piercing, though. 280. Is 15 extra points really going to make that much difference? I'm going to give you Shadow Hide. That has a more of effect, more use immediately. Battles don't come down to is it going to take 18 hits for me to kill this guy or 19 hits? <laughs> At least for me. So, like, a few points like that is. Already got so much. I suppose that's why I like I gen uh, generally I would like to give say armor piercing to a unit which doesn't have armor piercing rather than to a unit which already has armor piercing it means you have another unit which has the Not same possible. capability or you know around the same function though it depends how much armor piercing the other unit has just lightning striking increases the balance of power even if it doesn't change anything about the battle itself what have you got? Armor of Destiny, Ward Save, and Van Horseman Speculum. If we steal either one of these, that'd be great. I'd prefer this, but this is really powerful. Let's go crush some more humans. Or manlings. And things. What do the beastmen call them? Eat. Dinner. <laughs> Okay, landscape's looking rather chaotic. I don't think, surely we didn't have anything to do with that. Go there, go there. Again, go. Like that. Okay. Charge up. I've got a fair sized army. We shouldn't have too much of a problem. Okay, can you chuck a fireball at them? You could. Sure. Shoot one of those swordsmen. Come on. Don't be shy. Pow. Nice shot. You took out multiple ranks. Great angle for that. Okay, 
Swing around the back. <laughs> Are they just fleeing? <laughs> oh no, we took fire! Run off! They're not even broken, they're just running off. Hang on, you come around here. Okay, I want you to attack the Sartosa Militia. Any different unit? Sartosa Militia. Here they are. You'll never find a less trustworthy rabble, but for the right price, they'll fight to the death and beyond. They got perfect vigor because they're rowdy. Plus four leadership and perfect vigor. That's like the Centigors. Okay. Come around here. Move over there. Charge them. Oh, they were breaking. Weaklings. <laughs> Lovely. Hey, you still had, like, most of their army. I'm not complaining. This is kind of why I like playing as a beastman. Their initial strike can be really strong. Also, if the battle drags on for too long, they tire out, but... Oh, that's... That's a unit of... Ungles there. Thought they were soldiers, but no. They're uh, purplish colored. There's the Regiment of Renown. It's also the bonus that we've got. 43 melee attack. Primal Fury. They got the Hatred as well. Which is just not that much. But a little bit more on top. For the early part of the battle, I think. Let's see, does it apply again? You are like 10 points faster than they are. Well, they're all just gonna run off. Chasing them? Or are you just having a stroll? Fine. So let them run off. number us? Mm, no, not really. Okay, well. That's fine. I suppose they didn't have that much. Ah, raids and defile. Battle masters. A good attacker. And black horns ravages. Or herd. Monotonal drones in their crude pipes announced the arrival of the most savage, rowdy, undisciplined, and deadly. And Torox the Brass Bull gets his uh, rune tortured axes. Very nice. There's an ability which just increases weapon damage and armor piercing. I don't have to put a point into them? Oh, I guess not. That's nice. Um, I'm going to put a point in, I kind of tempted to put points into the growth, but I always think that the growth eventually becomes, uh, becomes unnecessary, because your army, you know, eventually you've got the buildings you need, and other ones are more of a bonus. Um, so growth doesn't, isn't useful for the whole game. Let's ambush defense chance. 
think the beast might actually get something which increases their ambush success chance. That increases chances of intercepting an army using the underway beast paths or world route. Increases capacity. Followers of slaughter. Uh. Sure. Let's get Merciless Beyond Measure and also Ruination 3. And you can get uh, Blade Master. Start increasing your melee attack skills. Get anything else for you? Oh, you can take the Berserker Sword now because uh, Torox isn't making use of it. Gonna wait until we have more growth for level three. We'll be able to get this one next. Well, I want to get that or one of these. I would like to be able to recruit some Minotaurs. We get them, and their upkeep is 57. That's partly because of this. But uh the Minotaurs are ridiculously cheap for us. Can't attack units on walls, but they're Minotaurs. What do you want? Slaves and sacrifices are needed. Fimble's eye demands it. Prince Briz. Killing eye of ghost fells. Where are you? I forget where you're located. I think up in the north. You demand a gift. Why? Um. Or are you in Elbion? In Elbion. No. The Famia have long lost the uh, favour of the Dark Gods. We won't share any with you. Do so would bring disfavour upon ourselves. Aim for the head. New targeting techniques have been introduced. things going up here. Auckland took Dieter Schaffen. Okay. Marion Berg. How much would we get? Well. Where do I want to go? I don't really want to go too close to Altdorf. If I move here, what can I see? Okay, we encountered a Baron Legion. Don't have a garrison in there. They're a little bit too far away to attack them now. Okay, just uh, camp. And turn. And I think we might call it here for the uh, Beastman campaign in a moment. Perhaps after we've attacked Marienburg. Or maybe we'll leave that for next time. A bit earlier than normal, but... Uh, Commander King went on for... I mean... Um... So... I upgrade this. I don't think it will increase the time for... Increase the cost for these ones. I think that only increases if you get more building. We wanted another lord. Okay, we only get the uh, beast lords, it looks like. It was frenzy. Get non rat eater or car. Uh, keep reduction for ungors, and we'd also be able to get gores. It'd be nice. Something a bit tougher than ungors. 
How much is the um upkeep? 637583. You get the great weapon ones, and also the ones with shields. Sure. Get that. It might be nice if the war gore was over here in the rude burrow. Just because it's a gore. Makes sense for it to be over here, I think, more than it does in the uh Minotaur building. Maybe it's so that you can't get them too early in the campaign. So you'd have to build another building before you can get them. But I mean, the uh, Gorbel's already over here. That's going to be good. Extra melee attack and armor. All of our armies are going to eventually have this. These. And we're going to have heaps of armies. They're, so, we can, so they won't just cost me the earth, all of them. Okay, we'll end the turn here, I think. And we'll save it and we'll continue with this next time. Oh, hello, Wolfric. What do you want? Did you know I long for death and slaughter? Game's a powerful mortal. If you know mine, then a treaty is possible. Uh, you want a military alliance? Yeah, sure, whatever. Let's make buddies with Norska. They'll be able to take some of the Empire settlements. So. Oh, hey. Midden Middenheim. Boris is uh, taking all the provinces. You go claim his other eye. <laughs> While his army's weakened. I'm an opportunist. Okay, we'll save it here. And we'll continue with Torx the Brass Bull next time. It's going pretty well. I think we've maybe just about gotten over the early hump. Um, these early first few turns, it's pretty much just attack everyone in sight, get growth, grow your horde up, hide, and... Uh, Try and get buildings which allow you to get better units. Once you've gotten, once I've gotten the Minotaurs, we'll be able to be able to sort of just deal with enemy armies much more easily. And uh, we'll be able to start having a second army with us and maybe a third army and just raising capital. Right. And then it will just be getting better and better units. But yeah, pretty good so far, I think. Like the mod for Torak works, and the cool side effect is that the corpse is no longer despawned. Yeah, that's pretty nice. You can see where you've gone by the path of bodies behind you. Okay, so yes, yeah, so thank you very much for joining me for this, and I hope you'll join me again next time where we'll continue Torak's Brass Ball.